Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna teach you three awesome things that you can do with the Zebra BI Cards Visual in Power BI. So if you are ready to take your Power BI reports to the next level, this tutorial is definitely for you, my friend. But before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So now let's do this. So the three features that we're going to be talking about today are the following multiple KPIs in just one visual. So the second feature here is to visualize trends. This is a really nice feature as well. And finally, we're going to be talking about the thrill through feature within this Zebra BI car visual. So now let's get started with the first one. The first thing that we want to do here is if you don't have this visual yet, if you haven't imported yet to Power BI Desktop, so let's do this real quick. Add visual here. And then remember, I have the latest version here, April 2023. So the user interface might be a little bit different compared to your version. Two options here, okay? If you click on this option, the first one, this new window pops up. And here, click on this, and then there is an ellipsis here. If you don't have these visuals yet, the Zebra BI visuals, I already have them. As you can see, I have the charts visual, the tables visual, and also the cards visual. If you don't have them, click on this option, and then get more visuals. You can type here Zebra BI, and then, and then you can see that these are the visuals available, so you can download them. I'm going to close this because I already have them, like I said before, and then I need to select the Zebra BI card. There you go. I do have a license here, but you also can have the free version, so you can play with it. The next step here is to start adding data into this visual. So let's do that. There is here a field or a box called values. Hit add data. The first thing that we want to do is let's select the current profits. This is a measure. This number by itself, it doesn't say anything. We need to compare this number against something. And we're going to compare this against our plan. So let's hit plan here, add data. And there is a measure here called profits target. Let's select this measure. So now we are talking because we are comparing this value. It has more meaning now because we can say current profits are great compared to target about 35% favorable. So this is the power of this visual. You don't have to perform DAX calculations to find this variation. And another cool feature is that you can also change this from percentage to just the dollar amount. Let's do that. Hit this option right there. Now you can see it. 4.4 million dollars. If you keep playing with this, you also have the two options. The relative value of the percentage and also the dollar amount and also the coolest thing about this visual is that you can add multiple kpis in just one card so let's do this let's go over here again and then group kpis add data and for this particular case we're going to select country and let's see how it goes so we have five different countries and now you can see in a nicely way you can see how they are performing current profits against plan Another cool thing is, let's say that I want to reorder this, I want to rearrange these visuals, you can do that as well. I care about America, America first here, so let's drag this into, into here, towards the left, and then we have also Canada in America, and then how about Mexico, Mexico is also part of America, so we can do that as well, check this out, you can easily rearrange these visuals so in that way you can tell the story better you can adjust this visual as well check this out and you can keep playing with this another cool thing is let's say that i don't like this green color i want to change this you can do that as well hit this option here design so now let's go about custom here let's say for the positive color i like a different green this one right here, for example, boom, it changes. 
and then for red maybe a lighter red you can do that as well check this out how about this one right here so you can do whatever you want here you can customize this visual cool there you have it you can play with this like i said before the cool thing about this visual is that you can add multiple kpis in just one card and also the responsiveness is so much faster compared to the native visual that we have in power bi keep playing with it and let me know how it goes so the next point that we want to talk about here is trends so let's go over the next page here there you go so this is what we have and now let's say that i want to see how this program is performing over time so we can do that as well check this out let's select this visual let's go over here again and then for category for trend as you might have guessed we're going to use here the calendar table dates and we care about year month check this out now we are talking right it looks so much better so it's more visually attractive and then as you can see we need to rearrange also we need to sort the dates here so we can do that as well go over the ellipses here sort year month and now also we, we care about ascending order boom so now this looks so much better it's quite straightforward like i said before very very powerful visual another cool thing about this feature is so let me show you let me adjust this a little bit better for now another cool thing is if you select this visual again let's go over this option right here more options and let's go over card real quick so you can also suppress chart check this out you can just see the the metrics itself right no no charts but we care about charts so that's good and you can also add this option right here so it looks so much better those are just design ideas but you can play with it like i said before so guys now let's move on to the next feature drill through for drill through what we can do here is the following check this out how does drill through work it's quite straightforward the first thing that you want to do is to create a drill through page and that's what i did here As you can see it is right there and it's related to country for this particular case it's giving me just canada but the first thing you want to do here is to create your drill through page and once it's done you go over here and then you can start playing with this card visual let's say that we care about friends hit this option here drill through and now you can see drill through country details let's hit this option and let's see what happens check this out what is going on with this country and now you can see more details about friends how this program is performing in terms of profits you can clearly see the trends here month over month in a more clear way there you have it really really powerful feature let's go back to the previous page hold down control here and then we are back here in the drill through page since we have a couple more minutes and you love bonuses i do have a bonus for you my friend how to create a drill through page with this new user interface i was struggling a little bit and that's why i decided to give you guys this bonus it's quite straightforward so let's go over here again and let's duplicate this page duplicate this page and let's call this bonus okay and then as you can see check this out we're gonna delete this okay we're gonna delete this here you can see there are more details about this page so let's go over page information and here we have the option so the name of this page is bonus and then you have the option here to create tool tips or just a standard page and finally you also have the option to have drill through we're going to create a drill through option here or page that's why we have drill through and then keep all features on cross report off and now so let's start from zero here and here we do care about countries right so let's go over here and then country and now you can see automatically you can see this arrow right here so this is the arrow that takes you back to the page where you are applying the drill through 
it's quite straightforward so if you want you can test it as well so let's go over here drill through so let's go over here let's say Canada for now drill through now we have the bonus drill through hit this option and let's see what happens it's taking you to the bonus page bingo it's working so quite straightforward there you have it my friends ziva bi card visual empower bi if you want to take your reports to the next level this is the option that you want to take in consideration if you found this tutorial helpful as always please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and take a look at these tutorials right here really really good information as well if you're gonna keep sharpening your power bi skills thank you guys and see you next time